Prince Harry was warned by royal expert Jonathan Sacerdotti that his much-anticipated memoir could actually help Camilla if he chooses to dish the dirt on her. The Duke of Sussex will release his hotly anticipated memoir later this year. He promised the book would be an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life to date, and will be written not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. Harry's book, which is expected to be released in the run-up to Christmas, has left the royal family bracing themselves for the latest series of revelations. Charles and Camilla, who will both visit Southend today in their latest batch of royal engagements, are both reported to be among those in the firing line. Yet Harry was warned that dishing the dirt on his stepmother risks further damaging his own plummeting reputation both at home and abroad. Jonathan Sacerdotti, royal expert and journalist, told Express.co.uk that any explosive revelations could actually work in Camilla's favor. He said, it might dent her reputation, depending on what he says, if there are things in there that people don't like about how she's behaved or interacted with the family, I don't know if that's the case. But I think it might also have the opposite effect in that Harry and Meghan are increasingly unpopular in the UK because of their activities and statements. I think Harry revealing negative thoughts and opinions about Camilla may well actually help the British public accept her and like her because their public approval is dropping as time goes on, and hers is increasing. So, for them to discredit her in some way may have a negative effect on their intentions and a positive effect on her among the British public. Prince William is reported to approve of Camilla's future role as Queen Consort, and is said to be closer than ever with his father. The Sussexes, meanwhile, did not comment on the move. Paul Burrell, Princess Diana's former butler, told Closer earlier this month that Harry will be angry at his stepmother taking on a title that would have once belonged to his mother. He claimed, it'll be like a red rag to a bull for Harry, he'll be angry. While I don't think he has disdain for Camilla as a person, I think it'll rile him and he'll feel betrayed that she'll now be queen when that should have been his mother. He'll be livid. Harry's silence over the Camilla news speaks volumes according to one of his friends. The friend told the Mirror earlier three weeks ago, although tensions have eased between the two of them over the years, it was more for a show of unity than a close relationship. There were big problems at the start but as Harry and his brother William aged and matured, things got better and they can now coexist as adults. They were never close with her and they still aren't. Diana famously aired her dirty laundry in her 1995 BBC Panorama interview, telling Martin Bashir there were three people in her marriage to the Prince of Wales. Harry was first introduced to Camilla shortly before the first anniversary of his mother's death in an encounter believed to have been tense and awkward for both sides. As time went on, however, their relationship improved. Harry said in 2005 that he and William loved her to bits and thanked her for making Charles very, very happy. Nonetheless, Harry's friend said that he has lots to say about the breakdown of his relationship with the firm. The friend added, people think he's keeping a low profile to respect the family but it's not that. He's writing a book. He's got a multi-million pound book deal and he's keeping a lot of his opinions for that. The memoir deal states that it should include personal details of personal and family arrangements. And it will be a really intimate take on his feelings about his family and what has gone in the breakdown of the relationship. If they think that he's gone soft, then they are mistaken. Just wait for the book to come out because that will shake the monarchy to its core. Mr. Sacerdotti told Express.co.uk that he could understand any grievances on Harry's behalf, particularly about Camilla becoming Queen Consort, but added that his situation is very different from hers. He said, I certainly wouldn't rule out the idea that Prince Harry may not be totally comfortable with this, especially as he and his wife chose to step out of the royal family as working royals, and have had further privileges and titles taken away from them. I think he may feel that it's unjust to see that Camilla's had the opposite, which is having the honor bestowed upon her by Her Majesty the Queen. But they are very different situations and circumstances. She has entered the family and very slowly, over a great deal of time, shown herself to be a stalwart member and a hard worker. They have done the opposite, which is intentionally and voluntarily stepped out of the family. Even given a year of trial where they could come back should they so wish to, they chose to leave. 
So I think that if there is any air of jealousy or uncomfort that she's being given an honor and a title that they are losing, then it would be unjust and unfair of them, because it is a different situation and they chose their circumstances completely.